Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am finally back with a Build With Me series. I've been gone for about a year, I want to say. A little bit less than a year. Um, I've been, I went through a lot of stuff. Um, I lost my dog of eight years in September, and I just haven't been feeling up to doing anything, but I'm finally at the point where I am ready to get back into building and uploading to YouTube and I have missed it so much. So, welcome. <laughs> um, if you don't know me or if this is your first time watching any of my videos, hi, my name is Megan. I make um, Sims 3 stuff. I dabbled in Sims 4 stuff, but I just didn't have as much fun with it as I do in The Sims 3, and so yeah. So we are in Appaloosa Plains right now, and the house that I, um, that we are going to be building, I actually built off camera once before, and, um, and I, and I did it all off the top of my head. Like, this isn't, um... There's not going to be like a picture in the corner or anything like that. Um, so yeah, and I already have like the floor plan laid out and everything. I have, like I took pictures of it on my phone. So if this should be a very like simple process. So as I said before, we are in Appaloosa Plains right now. And um, you don't, we're not going to need a very, a very big lot for this. And so I'm just going to take this step by step. Um, so uh, the first things first, we're going to need a lot. And in order to get into the lot, to and well, in order to be able to pick a lot and, you know, build without having to have any money, you are going to go over here to the options and we're going to go into edit town. And now we should, now we will, now you will be able to literally edit anything. Like, I'm pretty sure you can even, like, edit the community lots and stuff like that. So, and like I said, you don't need a big, like, 64 by 64 lot. Like, no, girl, we're not going to need all that. So, I already know which, which lot I want to play this on. And I think I'm going to do this one. Cause I like how it's surrounded by trees and there's a cute little sign right here. And so you click on here. This says 67 Rachel Lane, but you can build it anywhere you want, to be honest. And you're going to go into build by. All right. And we are here. And the first thing that I always do whenever I build is I level the terrain, like I flatten the lot to make sure that there's no like divots or anything like that. And to do that, you go into terrain tools and you go to level terrain. You click on the very furthest one. And I like to do it a couple of times just for good measure. And I'm gonna move these out of the way because we do not need those as of yet. And so, good, here we go. We got our lot, it's nice and level. So the next thing that you wanna do is, you know, start building. But this house has a garage and it's attached to a foundation. So there's a couple of cheats that we need to put in before we do any of that. And to bring up the cheats menu, you put Control shift c and that'll bring up this little bar and the very first cheat that you want to put in is testing cheats enabled true that cheat is just to make sure that all of the other cheats work like if you type them in they'll work and the next one is Control shift c again constrain Floor, elevation, false. And now we're good. We should be able to connect a regular wall to a foundation. 
And if you want to build at nighttime so you can see the grid better, but I, I can see it perfectly fine. But to toggle night and day, you press L on your keyboard. But I'm going to build at in daytime because I prefer to build at day. But some people like to, pre to like to build at night because they can see the grid better. Anyway, <laughs> onto the house. Let's get started here. So I always like to start with the garage first. And so a garage door in The Sims 3. And we're going to use this one. It's four squares wide. And so I like to have a wall, like a, like one square wide wall on each side of the door. Like, I'll show you what I mean. So we know that the garage door is four squares wide. Let's go back four, five, six. Let's go back seven. Let's start right here. So we want to go one and then one, two, three, four, and then one. So it should be six. And to fit a, sorry, my dog is, was trying to get in my lap. Okay, and to fit a, um, a like a car, like good and, no. <laughs> To fit a car comfortably in a garage, it's seven, um, six by seven. So we're just gonna go on seven. Boom. And as soon as you make a room, it's gonna give you a ugly roof. To make sure that doesn't happen again, you go under roofs, you turn auto roof off, and then remove all roofs. All right. So, and we can go back down. Okie dokie, here we go. We're cooking. Now we are finally getting into it. So, I'm going to go back by, let's see, one, two. I want to go back by two. And then I built this house before and this area was going to be where the, where the door, like where the door was and everything. But I think I'm going to make the, I, I'll, like, I'll show you what I mean. I think this, this isn't going to be where the door is. I'm going to make it more over here. So we can go over by two, or I can do it, do it, go down by two. And we are going to go over by four. Go back. I'm going to turn my grid off just because it confuses me. <laughs> I'm not very smart. Okay, so we went over by four. And then we're going to go down by one. And then we're going to go over by three. And then down by two. And then I think it's one. And then two, three, four. Okay, so there's the front of the house, and now I'm still looking at a picture, so bear with me here. So we're going to go over by one, and then go up by two, so up by two, over by two, so that should be two by two, and then we're just going to keep filling this in, and then by two and then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so it's literally it's connected with this. 
Awesome, perfect. And so now we're gonna go down one. We're gonna go over by three and then connect it to the garage. All right, so we got the downstairs all laid out and figured out. Perfect. So, let's see. So now we need to do some more steps in the roof. So we got to do the next part in that. We have to go back to terrain tools, level terrain, and you wanna click anywhere on the foundation here and you wanna drag all the way out here. Perfect. So now your garage is level with your with your foundation. And so now we have to put in the walls. So we just outline everything. Do, do, do. There we go. All right, finally. <laughs> and now, fun. Now comes the ups. Now we're going to do the upstairs. We're going to go up. We're literally just going to outline this. We're going to go down. I hope I'm not going to. You know what? I'm going to. Let me start over here. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So we're going to outline here and then go back by one and then do the, do the same thing on the other side and then we're gonna outline this and we're gonna go all the way back to there so it should be eight and then you're just gonna go all the way over here where it meets here oh wait no, I lied. <laughs> We're going to pop this out by one. Oh, wait. <laughs> I messed up. Excuse me for lying again. All right, so we need to take this out by a couple more. That way, okay, I see now. That way it lines up with that. All right. <laughs> and then I messed up here. All right, that was uh, a lot. That was a lot. All right, so now my favorite part is the roofing. And I already know how I want to do the roofing, and it's very simple. So the first thing I like to do is I like to fill the, like, the empty spaces in on the roof. So I'm just going to take one kind and then shift to fill in the whole area. Do that and you can make sure you get all of them. Boop. Easy peasy. Look at that. All right. Now we are cooking. So, to do the roof, let's see here. I think it's this one. Yep. I think. Yeah. Okay, so you go to Gable Roof, and you want to click here and drag all the way. So it should be 10 by 8, I think. I think that's how. Hmm. I can't remember now. I think I left. Okay, go 10 by 7. Let's try that. And then... That, yeah, that way we can put more peaks up here. So I think it's tall gable roof. And go here. And click all the way. Up here. And then let's bring this down a little bit. And I think it's the regular gable roof. Yes. And then we have to drag that down. How, how I'm doing this is I am clicking on this roof section picture control and I'm just lowering it. That way it blends in good. And then go on the gable roof again and then do that. 
Look at that. Perfect. I think I want to make this one a little taller. Perfect. That is beautiful. Let's just make sure that everything is blended in here. Alrighty. Perfect. So now comes the the roof of this the garage here. Actually, before we do that, we need to finish we need to finish the garage. Cause if you put the garage door in how it is now, it's gonna do that. So to make that not happen, we are going to delete the front of that. And then like it's just you're you're just deleting the bottom half like the bottom front half of the of the of the thing. Sorry, I burped. My bad. Then we go to create wall and we just fill it back in. Now it's gonna have these weird things on the side, but it's just the side. Nobody cares about the sides of the house. So now it's gonna go up like that and it's gonna look weird. But we're going to fix it right now. Don't you worry. So we're going to go back into terrain tools, level terrain, and click on the top of the roof and click over here. Voila. Viola, as I say. All right. So now if we put a garage door, it'll work. Beautiful. Love it. Look at me go. <laughs> All right, so I think it's the regular gable roof that goes sideways. Nope. I always get confused because the gable roof goes like a certain way and then the tall gable roof points the other way. So, and I always get confused over which one is which. So the tall gable roof, click on here and go all the way. Beautiful. And then selection pitch control, just go all the way down. Girl, yes, look at that. Look at her. All right. So now you see where where you see what's happening here. It looks a little weird, right? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you click on the hipped roof, you start right here. You can actually connect it and then just Blend it in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And we can actually do it again over here. So click on the hip roof again. Click on the corner. So that way it doesn't look all weird and chopped off and stupid. <laughs> and actually, if you wanted to, you could you could do it. You can do it like that. You know what? I think that looks really good. We're going to do that for these back corners. And I'll see if I want to do it for the for the corner up there. But for now, we're just going to do it with these back with these back corners. Look at me go. I'm learning new stuff. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to I think for this one, we're going to do a half gable roof. So, click on the half gable roof, click on the corner. Go over by four and back by one. And then roof section pitch control and then bring it all the way down. And then for the back, I think I'm going to do another half gable roof. Five by one and then all the way down, girlfriend. Look at her. All right. So I think I'm going to leave this part here. I'm going to pre-record this part and then the next part so I won't be able to see your comments on these videos when I upload these two. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoy this build with me. I'm really excited to be back and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye guys.